Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be applying some new products, some that I've purchased um, in the past and some that I recently purchased. So I wanna go ahead and try these out and do a first impressions for you guys. So I do have a full face of foundation on right now. I am testing out a new foundation and that video will be up before this one. So I'll put a card right here so you guys can click on it if you're interested in watching that video. So let's go ahead and get into some of the products that I wanna show you. So the first thing I wanna do is eyeshadow. I've already primed my eyes with the NYX Proof Fit Eye Primer and I'm going to go in with this new palette that I purchased and it is the NARS Make Up Your Mind palette. This is such a gorgeous palette. When I saw this at Ulta, I literally was like, I have to get that. It is so beautiful. Even though I have some of the products that are in this palette, I still like the convenience of this palette to where if you wanted to take it with you like out of town or you needed to take it with you like say to the gym when you're getting ready for work or you're getting ready for your day, this is a really nice convenient wearable palette that you can use on an everyday basis. So here's the palette here. It is one of the most gorgeous palettes that I've seen NARS come out with. And in the palette, there's a bronzer, and it's the Laguna bronzer. Then you have a blush called Luster. You have one of their most famous blushes, Orgasm. And then there's another blush called Dulce Vita. For the eyeshadows, you have Mekong, Sophia, Tropical Express, Fez, Fuse, Pattaya, Metal, and Hemamet. So these are all your shades here. Now these two shades that are in the center, which are Fuse and Pattaya, those shades right there are more of like a glitter shade. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those shades because I wanna see how pigmented they are and whether those shades can be used for day or night. So here's the shades here. I think by looking at it that you could probably use these, yeah, you could use these during the day or the evening. And those are the shades right there. Just really beautiful soft glittery shades. Not too glittery, but they just give that really nice, um, just a really nice sparkle. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And like I said, I've already primed my eyes, so I'm going to go over my whole entire lid with this shade right here, which is called Hemamet. It's a very nice nude shade. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm using the Sonia G Blender Pro. So that's at my primer, and I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm going into this shade that I wanna try so bad. I'm gonna go into Sophia. Such a beautiful, like, brown mauve shade. And I'm gonna go into the crease, very pigmented. a Little bit on the corner and into the crease. I'm not seeing a lot of fallout on my face. So I'm just blending that really, really well. That looks really pretty and it's blended really well. So let's go ahead and go into, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here called Res. It's a very nice bronzy shade with a little bit of sheen. There's no glitter or anything in there. It just has a beautiful sheen to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sonia G Worker Pro brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that shade. I'm gonna put that on the entire lid. These eyeshadows are super pigmented, so you don't need to like dig into the shadow. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take my MAC 242 and I wanna go into the shade Pattaya. It's this glittery gold shade and I'm going to put that on my brush. And because it has shimmer, I'm just gonna press it into the lid on top of that res shade. Now I am getting a little bit of glitter fallout, just a tiny bit, not a lot. So because I don't want glitter everywhere, what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and just kind of wet my brush. I'm just using this Caudalie Beauty Elixir and I'm going to spray my brush a little wet yeah I think I like it better if I wet my brush just a little bit because it helps the glitter from going everywhere that looks super beautiful oh, I love love that shade guys it leaves like this beautiful gold shimmer on the eye just gorgeous all right that is gorgeous I love the way that came out I'm gonna go ahead and go back in later to do my bottom lash line 
But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start with some bronzer. I am using the Luminizing Bronzer by RMS. So I saw this bronzer when I went into Sephora and it immediately caught my eye because it is a luminizing bronzer. It's not a matte bronzer. As you guys know, I do love bronzers, um, but this one, it just looked like it had a nice sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the packaging right here. So the case opens and there's a little mirror, but this is the shade right here. And like I said, it's a beautiful like luminizing bronzer. I am gonna swatch it for you so you guys can see. That's it right there. See, it has that little sheen to it. So I am gonna use that today. So let me go ahead and grab a brush. Okay, I have been loving this e.l.f. stipple brush. Um, I had bought this a long time ago and I can't find it anywhere in store. So I'm not sure if they sell it online, but if they do, I am definitely gonna buy a few more of these. This is like the best brush for distributing bronzer. If you just want that diffused bronze look, this is the brush that you wanna go for. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush into the bronzer. I'm going to place that all over my face. Not all over, but on the cheeks, on the forehead, and down the chin. That is super, super pretty. See how this brush just kind of makes it look so like diffused? So I really like that guys. As you can see, there's like a little sheen to the bronzer. It's just really pretty on the skin. So I have been wanting to use this Makeup Forever contour. I did get this a while back. I hadn't used it yet, but it's this kind of like, I wanna say like a reddish brown tone. Um, I wanna see what it looks like for contour. I'm not gonna go in with a heavy hand with this. I just want to test it out. I'm using the e.l.f. highlighting brush and the reason being is because it's kind of like tapered and pointed. So I'm going to use a little bit of product. Nope, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. It looks super, super red. So I'm just going to try to buff that out. All right, so I tried to buff that out because I did not like it. I really hate that I went in with this today because I'm trying to test this foundation out and I can't go back and redo the foundation. So I tried to buff it out as much as I could. Let's go ahead and start with my blush. I am going back into the Make Up Your Mind palette. I think I'm gonna go in with Luster, this blush right here. I'm gonna use that on my cheeks. That's a beautiful blush. I don't think I have Luster in my collection. I do have Orgasm and I have Dolce Vita, but I don't think I have Luster. So now for highlight, I'm going into the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I did pick up this palette during the time I picked up the bronzing powder by RMS. And so I do wanna use this. Look how gorgeous these shades are. They're so beautiful. There's like a pink shade, a bronze shade, a gold shade, and I think a pearl shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using my Anastasia highlighting brush. I think I wanna go ahead and go in with the gold shade today. Ooh, ooh, that's coming out really nicely, guys. I barely dipped my brush in there. And look at that, look how, oh my gosh. Guys, this looks so beautiful. It looks so like smooth. Um, it doesn't accentuate like texture or anything. I don't have a lot of texture, but I do have some and it's not accentuating it. I can't believe how gorgeous that looks. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty and it went on without any effort. I'm gonna put some up here, here, a little bit on my nose, on the top of my lip. Let me swatch the other shades for you so you'll see. That's the pink shade, bronze, and the pearl. Aren't those beautiful? I can't wait to use the pink one. I love pink highlighters. So let's go ahead and go into lips. I am gonna use a lip liner I've been loving for lips. It's the Becca Fearless Lip Liner. Oh, 
Okay, so for lipstick, I am going to go in with one of these Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I purchased from the Hot Lips 2 collection. I did purchase four of them, and one of them I've been using like crazy, and that's the Alessandra lipstick. I purchased these during the Nordstrom sale, even though these weren't on sale. I purchased them anyways because they had come out around that time. So I ended up getting four of them and I have been loving the Alessandra. It is gorgeous on the lips. But I did purchase these other ones and I want to use one of the other ones because I haven't tried these just yet. But I have the JK Magic, I have Dance Floor Princess, and then this one is called Patsy Red. Now I'm not going to wear the red one today because I want more of a nude lip since my eyes are pretty dark. So let's see, this is the JK Magic. And that looks like it would go with the look that I have today. This one is Dance Floor Princess. Another one that's beautiful that would go with this look today. So let me swatch these. I think I'm gonna go with Dance Floor Princess. It's the lighter one of these two. This is a little bit darker pink. My lips are a little chapped. I've been putting lip balm, but it's like not helping. It smells so good too. Kind of smells like vanilla to me. So let me go ahead and finish the eyes and I'm going to use the Sonia G Pencil Pro to do my bottom lash line. I'm gonna start with this shade Nepal right here and I'm gonna put that on the bottom lash line. What I wanna do is go ahead and place that on the bottom lash line so that when I place the darker color, it kind of just blends together and fuses together. I'm not gonna put any mascara on my bottom lashes. Um, most of the time I don't, unless I'm like going out. So I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. So now um, I wanna go ahead and go in with the Gimme Brow. I did do my eyebrows before I got on camera. I'm just gonna use this so that I can brush them out and they can stay in place. Okay guys, so let me go ahead and do something with my hair and then I'll be back to give you my first impressions on all these products. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and go over my first impressions of these products. I wanna start with the lips first because they're not really a first impression. I just wanted to show you the new lipsticks that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I have always loved her lipsticks. I have quite a few of them. And like I said, I only picked up four from this Hot Lips 2 collection. So it's really not a first impressions, but it is a new shade of lipstick that I have used from her line. So let's switch over to the NARS Make Up Your Mind palette. This palette is simply gorgeous. I absolutely love the shades that I put on my eyes today. And I know I'm gonna love the other ones too. The eyeshadows are so saturated. They're so beautiful on the eyelid. They blend really well. I just have to say that this palette is probably gonna be one of my favorites. I absolutely love that they have the bronzer and the three blushes. And then I really love the color scheme in this palette. I just think it's beautiful. And I love that they added the two glitter shades so that if you wanna go from day to night, all you have to do is pop one of those shades on the lid. You can use your finger, you can use a brush. Either way, it's just gonna look gorgeous on the eyelid. So um, yeah, I really like this palette. So I'm really glad that I picked this up um, when I saw it at Ulta and I think it's just so beautiful. So for the RMS Luminizing Bronzer, this is such a great bronzer. If you want like that bronze look with like a sheen to it, I think it just leaves like, I just think it leaves a beautiful like glow to the skin when you put this on. So it's like, a bronzer with a bronze glow that's not too glittery, that's not too shimmery, that just looks really nice and soft and luminous on the skin. I think it looks beautiful like on the outer perimeters of the face just to give that beautiful bronze glow to the skin. I think it's perfect for that. So yeah, really like the RMS bronzer. Now for this Makeup Forever contour color, this is not for me. This is something that is way too red. It just looked really horrible on my cheeks. It did not give the contour that I was looking for. So yeah, this is actually gonna go back. It's been a while since I purchased this, so I'm hoping that they'll give me another contour shade um, instead of me having to return the entire thing and get my money back. So um, we'll see. I'm gonna take this back to Makeup Forever and see what happens. But like I said, this shade right here did not work for me. 
So for the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette, this is in 001 Universal. Um, I don't know if they have a 002 or 003. All I know is that when I saw this in store, this was like the only one that they had. I'm really glad that I purchased it. I do have some Dior highlighters that I absolutely love. Unfortunately, those are limited edition, so I don't mention them as much because I don't know that you can get them anymore. This doesn't say that it's limited edition at all, so I'm sure you could get this at Nordstrom or you can get this at Sephora like I did, but I think this is such a beautiful highlighting palette. It looks so smooth and silky on the skin. It went on very creamy. Like I said, when I dipped my brush in there, I barely dipped my brush and then put it on my cheek. It just melted into the skin so well that it just looks it just looks like it's part of my skin if that makes any sense but it just looks really beautiful and gorgeous on the skin and i absolutely love it so glad i picked this up so yeah i didn't have many products to show you guys but i did have some really good ones to show you and i absolutely loved everything except for the makeup forever contour shade but other than that i loved every product that went on my face today i think it looks really good um, and yeah, I'm excited to use that NARS palette more and I'm really excited to use this Dior highlighting palette more. So thank you guys for being here. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you'll subscribe below by pushing the subscribe button. And also for you guys who want to see my videos when they come out, then hit the notification bell and it'll alert you and let you know that I've posted a new video. So thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.